What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you something pretty exciting and that is Jellylock 7. So if you use Jellylock on iOS 6 jailbreak, then you're definitely going to like Jellylock 7. Now if you haven't heard of it, basically what this is is a lock screen tweak and it looks amazing. Now this is a free tweak. This is awesome for a free tweak. So you can see here that it's based on the Android uh, lock screen and you can see that we have all our favorite applications right here you can obviously customize these apps to whatever apps that you want to and you can see it fade in and fade out as I tap on the little grabber right here if you want to open up the camera then you can do so just by swiping over there and if you want to open up your apps obviously you just swipe over it and go ahead and open it up just like that so really simple really intuitive extremely easy to use one thing that's really cool about this is I actually have a passcode on my device but you can actually set a setting where you can open up apps straight from the lock screen without having to put in your passcode so let's go into the settings here and we're gonna go back out of this wallpaper nonsense and we're gonna go down here to Jelly Lock 7. Now here is the kill switch so you can enable or disable it right there. Here is your respring. All changes require a respring. And here are your shortcuts. So this is where you're going to set all your shortcuts. We're going to go ahead and reset all the shortcuts. That way we can go ahead and set these. So for the first one we'll do the app store and second one we'll do the calculator. Now it's I mean extremely simple. No thinking involved with this. Just tap on your favorite apps and you can launch them. Now let's go down here to, let's go with iFile. I actually already did iFile, so let's do, uh, we'll do the phone. Okay, so down here we have the skip passcode enabled. So this is what I was just talking about. This is going to bypass that passcode and allow you to open up your app straight from the lock screen. Now it says right here that keychain protected apps won't work just yet, so keep that in mind if you have any of those. Now if we go back here, we can disable the default unlock. So you can see right now it's not disabled. So if I swipe to the right, it's going to bring up the passcode. Now you can disable that, so a swipe to the right is going to basically do nothing. So we'll go ahead and do that and we'll respring once we're done. You also have the option to hide the camera icon, so we'll go ahead and do that as well. And here's your appearance. You can show the badges on your apps if you wanna do that. Since we already had that on, we're gonna to toggle that off. And right here we have blur background. So this is going to blur the background of the area in which the jelly lock appears. Now it's kinda of hard to tell with my previous wallpaper, so I'm gonna go back to the lock screen. I changed the wallpaper so you can see basically what this does. So if we tap on it, you can see the entire area around that jelly lock is actually all blurred out. So that's what that does. So we're going to go ahead and unlock it and we're going to toggle that off. You also have landscape left for iPad. So this tweak is iPad capable and what it does is put the grabber on the right side of the screen so it's easy to access in landscape mode. Now if you toggle this on, all that it's going to do is move the grabber to the left side. So if you have an iPad and, you're, and you want to unlock with your left thumb, then you can go ahead and toggle that on. Down here we have the circle color, which is white. So to go back here and just kind of... Uh, reiterate what this is you can see the circle color around here is all white and you can change that color if you want to the one that I like the most actually is the clear so no circle color at all but you have all these different colors right here if you want to change that up now for the circle size which is the grabber we can go ahead and change that as well and for the opacity we'll change that down to change it to about whatever that is I can't tell around 40% or so so now we're going to go back here and we're going to respring alright so now that we're resprung here you can see that the opacity has changed it's been a, it's a lot more clear we changed the applications everything is smaller because I scaled it down a bit now we're not going to notice any type of blur as we tap on this and this opacity is probably a little bit too transparent uh, it's kind of hard to see, but still at the same time, it's going to work just the same. Now, another thing we changed is default swipe. We can't swipe to the right anymore, as you can see. It's not going to allow that, but we can still open up our application. So if we just open that up, then it's going to open up the alarm. So this is an awesome lock screen tweak, and I highly recommend it. It's a free tweak, and a lot of work went into developing this. So if you want to drop a donation to the developer, then go ahead and do so. But, but let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. 
Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time, peace.